This is the split squat EQI. We're going to use this exercise to improve your split squat technique, as well as improve your mobility and stability of your hips. So to do this exercise, we're gonna find your ideal split squat position, which will be what you would use for your hip flexor stretching, your half kneeling hip flexor stretch. That will find you a good stance. And then from here, I'm gonna exhale to get my abs on, my butt on, and I'm gonna focus more on the side that's back, okay? Because the side that's back is gonna need a bit more stability to control hip extension so I don't arch my back too much. So I'm here, getting this ab on, getting this butt on, and then I'm standing up here, okay? Um, same thing, making sure my pelvis is under me. So when you're first starting this exercise, your range of motion, when you get in the right position, may actually be a bit limited. So we say to hold this exercise for 30 seconds, you're gonna find as low as you can go with good positioning and hang out there for 30 seconds. So if I'm starting out, it may look like this. I'm here, okay, I'm good, my hips are good. But then here, I start to feel it's quite challenging, it's pretty tight here, um, but I'm able to maintain this. So I'm gonna just hang out here for 30 seconds. And the goal is to get lower and lower each time you do this, so I can get to the bottom. And then from here, when you can hang out in the bottom for 30 seconds, then you don't have to do it anymore. You can control hip extension in a split squat position. So you, you'll have good split squat technique. From the front, this is what it would look like. So I'll make sure, good position. And it's normal that as my butt, my abs start to put my pelvis in a better position, that this knee will also stay more under me. So we don't want it to be really far out like this. We want it directly under you as I go down. And I use my exhale to continually get my ribs and my pelvis together, okay? Now, if you're feeling huge quad burn as you do this, you wanna try to get a bit more abs and butt to help take some pressure off those quads.